What'd you say? Is that yours? Who's what, man? The Lincoln. What Lincoln? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to The Poor Investor. I have been giving away XCH and I'm still gonna be giving it away because everyone has been reaching out to me on Discord and I just have been handing out all my XCH. Now, I'm not saying all of it, I still have some. Today, I have a couple announcements. It was a post on Reddit and it was about GPUs. Coincidentally, today was the release of Mad Max GPU Plotter, the Giga Horse. And I'm gonna go through all of that right now. So stay with me. But before we begin, like we always do, price of XCH has been dropping $41.62, down 1.77%. Another interesting topic to discuss, the node count. Since my last video till now, over 2,000 nodes has dropped off the network. Not sure what the cause is. Maybe people just getting turned off, not doing it, not interested. Whatever the case, the nodes have been dropping the net space has stayed the same equally since my last video, which has been a couple of days already. So it hasn't been that long. But for me to see from 127,000 plus to 125, that's a significant change. And of course, uh, FYI, I am still on 1.60 which is right here, if you guys can see that. Majority of the people who are following the directions and being little good boys and girls are at 1.62. I haven't had any problems so far, so I'm just gonna leave it at where it is. Now, here's the thing. I want to show you guys a quick picture that I had to screenshot because for some reason on Reddit, I cannot find it under the Chia community anymore on Reddit. It's just gone. I've been looking. So what I'm gonna do, and of course, 59 minutes ago, right here, if you guys can read this, Giga Horse Chia Plotter, Farmer released, all right? So Mad Max has released his version of compress plots or your ability to compress plots and uh, to farm with GPUs. But let me bring this over because I really wanted to bring this to your attention. And as I was setting up, that, that particular post came in about the whole Giga Horse coming in. All right, so let's go through this. And I tried to look for this post I just don't see it anymore. Maybe I'm not looking correctly or I didn't look by the username, but I said, you know what? I, I don't mean to look for it. I have the, the screenshot of it and I'll just utilize that. Clarify, plotting MMX using Mad Max Plotter. So he's utilizing the MMX coin with GPUs. Now it's relatable. Don't turn away, don't shut off the video because he's using the MMX GPU plotter. In today's fail, I took my 3060 graphic card and 3060 is not really high demanding in far as, you know, power usage compared to the newer cards, 3070, 80s, 90s, 40, 80s, 90s, and so on and so forth. 3060 is very modest because I actually run a 3060 myself and I'm only using like a 600 watt power supply and it barely even like scratches the surface on utilizing the entire thing or even close to uh, 80 or 90% of it. But there's a couple of tidbits I want to uh, bring at attention. He got it in an old server. I had about 136 gigs of RAM to try GPU mining, got the caught up and adjusting settings on BIOS, disabling NUMA, setting PMP, reboot, sparks flew, and the wonderful smell of burnt silicone rose. I should mention the only way I had to get the right power was to move the fans to a four pin auxiliary port. That's all they needed and enlist the eight pin power port from the server board not sure maybe the 8 pin wasn't static power long story short the board saved the gpu and itself but i gave up on that the limited small run before fails that i was able to do were impressive table one in three seconds table two in 24 compression ratio set at seven running on ddr3-1866 and a pair of 12 core 2695s have ordered my 128 gigs of 36 100 to drop on the 7900x we'll see how that performs as soon as i read that and i read the comments obviously and i can't get to all of them because it's not there anymore i don't know what happened maybe the op deleted it i'm not sure i think the plot where you failed is mmx not chia in that case i think you should change the title because it confuses people who sees it okay yeah i guess uh, you are correct thank you maybe he did change it maybe that's why i can't find it anymore i should probably look for the user but in any case 
That's not the point right now. Point is, and you know, it's a bunch of things that came together. And I was thinking like, if we start using GPUs, and of course, some of you guys have been asking, if I use GPUs to plot, yeah, your machine is using GPUs to plot. You can't play games anymore. You will have to wait. But if you're using a GPU to also farm, and that's your primary machine, remember guys, some of you are actually using your only machine to hook up all these hard drives and farming which is fine and you were still able to play games and do things on it because it's not taxing on your CPU or on your GPU. But as soon as Chia releases this or if you decide to use Mad Max version of it, your GPU is constantly going to be used. Now you become a GPU miner practically. But one thing that I want to point out is that there's going to be a situation where people are going to start using these, right? This is where the failures come in. People who have never done any GPU mining before are going to be like, well, my power supply doesn't have enough PCIe connections or they're going to try to do something and then they're going to start utilizing these things. These SATA connections to PCIe connectors, which even miners have done in the past and they've learned their lesson because the power that goes through these things, they can't handle the load. But I don't know what compression levels and what load is going to do. So look at this. Today, it has officially released the Giga Horse. And uh, I think we need to read this one first. So this one makes more sense. And then we'll look at the second link because it was two links that was provided on the Reddit about the whole Giga Horse being released today. This release provides Chia blockchain binaries to farm compressed plots created with the new plotter provided in this repository. The compressed plot harvester and farmer are not compatible with the official Chia node. So you cannot use the Chia node anymore if you choose to use Mad Max's GPU plotting and farming. It only works together with the GigaHorse node. All right, so that's that's where it's very debatable. A lot of people are very standoffish about this because it becomes very proprietary and it's closed source. However, it's possible to use a wallet from the official Chia repository instead of the GigaHorse binary wallet. At least you still have an option with your wallet. Both NFT and OG plots are supported as well as solo and pool farming via the official pool protocol. Regular uncompressed plots are supported as well, so you can use the GigaHorse version while replotting your farm. The dev fee is as follows. So basically what he's saying there is that if you have some OG plots or NFT plots, it'll keep on farming as you're replacing each one. So one for one or, you know, because you're plotting so much faster now, it's like it's like a blink and a buy. You're going to get a replacement plot, but compressed. And we'll go through the details of that in a little bit. Dev fees 3.125% when using GPUs to farm compressed plots. 3% was really good rates when uh, the real estate market was booming two years ago. I locked in my mortgage at like 3%, 3% dev fees. And I'm not sure how all that plays out, how much you actually will be making from this. It really depends on how many people jump on this thing. 1.562% when using CPUs to farm compressed plots. Uh, but if you went this route, let's just say you went this route, why even bother using the Giga Horse, right? Just stay with the Chia official release and you're using CPUs anyway and you're not being, there's no dev fee. 0% for regular uncompressed plots. I guess I, I would need to dig a little deeper. I'm not understanding how all that plays in right now, but you know, we'll come back to that. So here's the second link. This is where you download everything and get everything set up and running giga horse compressed plots they got the compression levels which uh seven and eight is usually the highlighted one because that's usually the sweet spot between you know being efficient right they didn't mention what gpus are here but i'm sure there's a list somewhere that someone is testing on the efficiencies of the different models and makes of this uh, gpus out there since chia still has a plotter a plot filter of 512 until sometime in 2024 the farming capacity is twice that until then mmx testnet 10 and mainnet will have a plot filter of 256 so there's a vram there is 
the amount of RAM gigabyte required to farm when using uh, CPU 16 core and this is the VRAM requirements for the GPU and you can see all that that's all here I'll link it in the bottom and of course it mentions the dev fees here again when you fly in the block there's a chance the farm rewards is used as fee this is a random process the fee is applied to per harvester so you can mix CPU and GPU harvester lots going on guys lots going on but this wasn't the main topic but because it's relatable because it's gonna happen soon it almost sounds like because Mad Max has his version now. And how many people are gonna jump on that and start testing that? Or how many people here are actually gonna be waiting for the official Chia release of their GPU plotter and farmer? So get this guys. So my point and this whole video was, you know, GPU plotting. There is a cause of concern for you buying more GPUs now. Because now there's people who are into Chia looking for GPUs, prepping themselves for that day when it comes or possibly utilizing it with the MMX. That's one. Two, they're probably going to set up this connection to some of these JBots that they already have. They're going to try and take put a, a modern day GPU into these legacy JBot servers, like case in point, like that, you know, uh, screenshot that I showed you guys. He, he basically took a 3060 and threw it into a a server enclosure that was not meant for GPUs of this caliber. Whether it's a 3060, you could say it's a low voltage, wattage, whatever. For this server, he had to kind of rig it in order to get it to work properly. I'm just curious to know how many of you guys are looking for GPUs now ever since this news has been released, right? Because now you're becoming that herd of miners that are looking for GPUs. Unlike, you know, maybe Ethereum miners or, you know, Flux or anything else that's going on right now, maybe you're just buying one or two. You need one for the plotter and you need one for the farmer because if you're farming with it, you can't plot with it. At least that's from my understanding. You would need separate GPUs for all that. Are you buying lower end GPUs like 1660 Supers, 3060s, 2030s or whatever it is? I don't know, but there is a cause of concern now because we're getting to the point where it's no different becoming a GPU miner. So that's my opinion. Of course, you know, I'm still plotting traditionally. Currently I have, let's say 2,884 plots. I'm still plotting to these hard drives that I purchased. The price has gone back up slightly around extra $10. So they're around $115 for a 12 terabyte right now, SAS or SATA, whatever the case is. And I've been just using a CPU, lowest end possibly too. Uh, it's not even like a kick-ass, it's a Ryzen 7 3600X, or maybe even lower. I think I swapped it out for like a 1700X or something like that. I think that's pretty much it. I think I covered everything for today. And of course, I will be bringing you more information on this because I just find it so intriguing. Maybe the guy changed the title and that's why I couldn't find it, but I was glad that I screenshot it. I wanna thank you guys for always being here. Please remember to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. I wanna thank you guys and I'll see you guys again soon, bye.